What's up guys, welcome to another video. So today we are going to be checking out the loot from 250 Easter Eggs. So if you come to the event, or if you haven't heard it from the event, I'll just sum it up real quick. Just do mini games. All mini games have a chance of giving you an Easter Egg. Uh, I'll have the link in the description below for the exact forum post if you want to see the odds and everything and figure out which mini game is best. But that's how you get the, the Easter Eggs. It's pretty simple. Come over to the event command. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on these loots right here. The loot basket, the PVM pack, and the skilling pack. So we're going to start with 250 skilling packs, 250 PVM packs, 250 loot, uh, loot baskets. The jumbo loot basket is the exact same thing, just multiplied by 10. So that's actually what we'll do to save time, but it is basically the same. If you didn't see the random point token, I showed that in, I think, the update video. Oh, oh no, I actually made a, a video by itself, so go check that out. It should be my last video, so uh, if you want to see that, but... We'll start off with the skilling packs. Let's do loot from 250. Now, the skilling pack isn't actually, like, different. This is what it's always going to be. So, that's it. Multiply that by 250. So, just to see what that would look like visually, boom! That is loot from 250 uh, skilling packs. So, yeah, very unimaginative. But uh, uh, if you're into skilling stuff, this would be fun for you. I, I suppose the Uber components is probably the main thing. I mean, that's one uber box worth of uber components is probably not worth it but let's move on to the pvm pack so let's take a look what that looks like we've got pvm pack so you've got two challenge tickets now the challenge ticket lets you fight the big snake boss which we're not going to kill 250 times because that would take ages but you can see what it drops you're always going to get a mystery box uh, so at the very minimum, that's two mystery boxes plus two kills, or whatever this, you know, whatever you can get from here. You also get a Slayer box, which, again, I'm not going to open, but, uh, you know, I suppose I should open. I'm gonna, I'll open the Slayer box since that's like, you know, I just click it, boom, and we get the box. And then you get 50,000 Numulites, so I will be back when I have a bank full of uh, Slayer boxes. Well, I'll just open up the Slayer boxes and show you the reward. You know what? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I have a Slayer box video. I'm going to, if you want to check... The description I will have all of those videos I've already made and I will have the links for those if you want to see Slayer boxes just go see that visual representation of what it would look like so 12.5 mil Numulite not bad at all and then of course we've got our Slayer boxes and challenge tickets so this is what a loot basket looks like you get one small cash bag you get one mystery box three crystal keys and one sinister key so i will actually be opening up all these this was the main purpose of the video so we will actually open up all of this stuff we will see what can you get from 250 loot baskets all righty so let's just get a nice little visual Ooh. let's open up the cash bags first all right so we got the last eight here and boom almost 1.2 bill uh, so yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They have a chance of giving up to 10, so... Or up to 10 mil. So the average of that would be uh, 1.25 uh, bill. So we basically are just slightly below average. But you can see it, it basically is that way. But uh, that's nice. Let's get on to the mystery boxes next. Then we'll do the crystal keys. I'm going to do mega crystal keys because I'm lazy. So mega crystal keys. But we will open everything else. All right, so here we go. Here's the loot from the mystery boxes. I don't think we got anything too crazy. Primordial, some tyrannicals, Staff of the Dead's nice. You know, some nice stuff. Nothing too insane, though. Let's go with the Sinister Keys next. All right, so that is all of the Sinister Keys. We actually did get the pet, so that's cool. We'll throw that in the total. Uh, so uh, some items are obviously going to stack, like you've got the Obsidian ones and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, the main ones here, we did get the one pet, two D Fool Helms. I think you can get Bond, but we didn't get one, so that sucks. Seven Legacy Tickets, uh, this is Pure Cash, and then Dark Opponents, nice. Well, let's move on to the Mega Crystal Keys, we're gonna do Mega Crystal Keys. Alright, so we've got the Mega Crystal Keys, we'll shove these together since we can kinda see what we got here. It's basically just to simulate, like, <laughs> if you had opened at least somewhat had opened 100 crystal keys like the the best things from that lot that's that was the idea of them as a <laughs> they're very lazy item uh yeah but uh, i like them that's that's mainly what i make with my crystal keys i just cannot spend the time doing that all right so let's look at it the loot this is the loot from 250 easter eggs we kept everything uh we we didn't count we didn't factor in the actual exchange rates of the mega crystal keys but yeah, uh, we have the cash here. 
Uh, we do have 75 leftover keys. I didn't drop those or anything. I think 25 were actually from mega mystery boxes or whatever. Uh, yeah, pretty nice loot. There's nothing, like, m big. I suppose that's what's missing here, is the chance at something huge. I mean, you do have mystery boxes, and mystery boxes do have the potential. I just think um, maybe it should have some one specific roll for something big. Even if it is a low roll, at least you'd have something extra. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions, uh, this video is being uploaded on the 23rd of April. There's going to be an update really soon, either today or tomorrow. And it's just going to be some minor bug fixes. And if you, you, you will have time, if you have any thoughts or any suggestions on the rewards, uh, let me know below. I do know that the minigame is, is really difficult and we're working on fixing that. Right now, it's just too difficult for the rewards, so it's not worth doing. So we either need to make the rewards better or make it easier. And I think we're probably just going to make it easier because it wasn't really meant to be like this juggernaut, you know, s you know, survival competition type thing. So we will, we're definitely going to make some improvements to that and you'll probably see that in the next days. But you do have time to give me your opinions. So give me your opinions.